Hello and welcome. In this video, I will tell you about a super cool Power BI hack that can make your date dimension a lot more useful. Let's take a look at the problem that we're trying to solve. So here we have developed an absolutely stunning report and we're admiring this particularly beautiful trend chart. But then we start thinking, I wonder if there is room for one more chart. And when you start thinking about along those lines, the answer is always yes. So you add another chart, your report becomes even more stunning and beautiful. And yet another idea pops in your head. What if I add another chart? The answer of course is yes. So wow, I have three charts for the price of one. However, I now see a problem. I have this ugly slide bar that is screwing out with my aesthetic sense of perfection. So how can we fix it so that I could still display my months, but not having to deal with the slide bar? Turns out it's very much possible. We just have to do a couple of hacks to our date dimension. So how are we going to hack our date dimension? Most likely you already have a date attribute, a year attribute, a month attribute, and a month name attribute. However, if that's all you got, you will never be able to get this chart to work as desired. The way we're going to fix it is by adding a couple of more attributes. So for this particular chart, I just need one. I need an attribute called a better month. Now you probably can come up with a cooler and more creative name, but I'm just trying to make a point. This month works much better than your existing good old month attribute. What do you need to write into this column? Well, the most important thing that it has to be a date. So in our case, I already have a date for the month start date. If you do not have a month start date, well, it's very easy to create one. Just use a date function, and then use a year and a month and number one as the three parameters. And there you go. You'll have that month start date, but that's not enough. Where is the hack? The hack is right here. What you need to do once you have created that date column, you have to go into the format option and you could click here, believe it or not, and you could just type in MMM. So in lowercase MMM, and what that will do, it will format the date to state the name of the month. Let's take a look at the data. So here you can see the three columns you've, I've added, a better month, a better year, and a better day. So day is just our original date, but that's formatted as, and then you could see that instead of the date, we just see the day number. The year is just the January 1st of every year in my data set. So, and I format that as YYYY. So that's displayed as four digit year number. And then for my better month, I formatted that as MMM. And that shows up in the display as three letter month name. What's important to remember is the actual values are in these columns, they're dates. All we've done is we have formatted them to appear in our charts in the desired manner. Now let us see if we can fix our chart. I'm going to remove the month attribute. So now it's just spelling out the month name and I'm going to add a better month attribute. And there you go. The slider is gone. I can make this chart even more narrow. I can make it wide. So as I resize it, Power BI is doing a lot of thinking to figure out how many months it can actually put on the Y axis and our charts works very well. If you had a very long, a temporal data set that goes back a hundred years and you want to do the same thing for years, you would just bring your better year and the same thing would happen again. Instead of having the, the slider, if you put just the year in the, in the X axis, you will just have a slider if the chart is too short, but now you could see the chart works really well. Now the question is, why does it even work? Well, it turns out that when the type of the data that you drag in your X axis is date or a number and you go into your X axis, you will have this new thing. It's called type. Well, not really new. It's been there forever, but you may not have paid attention to it. So this type, if it's continuous, that means that power BI, when it, when it renders this chart, it's going to do its best to make sure that it fits whatever representative information it can in the X axis, and it will never show the slide bar. If I make this categorical, the slide bar will show up and uh, that's the default behavior, behavior for, for any other data type. So for example, if I were to bring a, um, a month name in here, then I would not even have an option for continuous. 
I would only have an option. I would not even be able, able to see this type that option because everything would be categorical by default. So the way we fix it is we want to make sure that our chart is using the continuous. And as long as the field that we dro drop in the X axis is a date, then everything will work just fine. That's about it for today. I want to keep this video nice, sweet and short. If you found this video to be useful, we would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. You can visit our website obvians.com for inspirations on good design patterns, on visualizations. You can check out our courses in Accelerator. Thank you so much for stopping by and please come back again soon for the next one.